there. Welcome to day two of Creative Births. My name is Sarah Webb and I am a children's writer and a creative writing teacher and I'm delighted to have you here today. So today's theme is go wild and especially for that I've worn my wild sea mama shirt. So we're going to start today's Creative Burst by sharing the Roald Dahl quote which is one of my favourites. Watch the world with glittering eyes. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So for our first writing game today, I want you to pick one word. Actually, I'm going to give you that word now in a second, but you can pick some afterwards. Put it in a circle. Uh, I call this a word spider, where the word is in the circle and you give it eight little legs and you put another word around the eight legs, which is linked to that word. Or you can do a simple list. And the word to put in to the middle, or to do the list around, is the word dog, D-O-G. Another of my favourite things. So go, get writing. So the next thing we're going to do is write a short acrostic poem. Now you may have done these in school before. They are when you use the first letter and then you add on a sentence added on to the first letter. So for example, you might have the word dog and you put D-O-G downwards like that. And then you use the first letter D to say something like deeply devoted and loyal friend. O, Odie, my rescue dog. G, generally good, apart from when he eats my sausages. <laughs> so that's an example of an acrostic poem. So the first one to try is dog. Put the D, the O, the G. Then you can try cat, C-A-T. And the final one to try is wild, W-I-L-D. Go! What comes into your head when I say the word wild? Write it down in the list or use another word spider. Now, we're going to create a piece together around the word wild. So the first line is going to be, if I was a wild animal, I would be, and then you add in your wild animal. The second line is, if I was wild colour, I would be, and then add your word in. Now, would a wild colour be white? Or would it be stormy grey? Or would it be wild fluorescent pink? Or what would it be? You decide. Then the third line will be wild weather. If I was wild weather, I would be. So we have animal, colour, weather. And then the last line is going to be, but today I'm feeling, and you can either add wild or calm and you can decide and you can put in a metaphor as well. We were talking a little bit about metaphors yesterday on the downloadable sheet and don't forget to go along with each of these videos there's a downloadable sheet on the Molly website and it has more details, more writing challenges, more story prompts, lots for slightly older writers of 11 plus as well so do check them out. So that last line of your poem is going to be how you feel. Do you feel wild? Or do you feel calm? You decide. Now get writing. Thank you for joining us on Creative Burst today. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow's theme is jellyfish <laughs> and writing with your senses. So I do hope you'll join us again. And I'll leave you today with one of my favourite creativity quotes. And that's by Einstein. And he said, creativity is intelligence having fun. Keep writing, everyone. Mm -hmm.